My name is Jonathan Kingdon and I'm an evolutionary biologist working at the moment with steers in South Africa although I actually come from Tanzania and from East Africa. So my central interest has been in not only the evolution of humans, but the evolution of all animals and plants within the continent of Africa. And I've tried to raise the basic question of what is it about Africa that led to just one animal uh, evolving into human beings? How on earth do we explain the richest continent in the world producing the most complex animal that has ever evolved anywhere. So there's a very basic question about our origins, which is raised by just that simple fact, the fact that we evolved here. And it is that that my books and my lectures, and I'm essentially a teacher, I've been a teacher all my life in Africa and other universities. Africa is a very big chunk of the world. It's, a, it's the second biggest continent in the world. So it's all very well saying uh, humans evolved in Africa. Well, they didn't evolve in the middle of the Sahara, that is for sure and they didn't evolve on the top of Kilimanjaro. So the basic question is, where did they evolve? And what we can say now with increasing, not absolute, but increasing confidence, we can say that the genus Homo, that is the, that's the group of humans to which we belong, actually evolved south of the Limpopo River. And that's a, that, that conclusion comes from Basically, the science of biogeography, every animal has a place of origin. And the place of origin for Homo, and we call ourselves Homo sapiens, the wise human, pretty questionable that wiseness, but still, that was probably in the, on the coastal regions and up onto the, the uh, uplands, behind, let's say, Durban. That's where humans evolved. Now, one of the things about uh, any animal which has a, a place of origin, and that place of origin, it's kangaroos in Australia, it's penguins in Antarctica, it's polar bears in the Arctic, and it's humans in Africa. And so, it is very important to try and understand that we conform with all the other uh, forces that have allowed gorillas and elephants and any kind of animal you like to name. They all evolved by the same basic process. And that's what I'm interested in, exploring that. And exploring it as something that's both fun and beautiful. I don't want it to be seen as something which is just the corral uh, of academics. It's not, a, it's not a matter for academics, it's a matter for all of us to try and understand what we are.